You know, probably one of the most impressive things about this DLC is this new opening screen. But, uh... Other than that... <laughs> Hello, Grave Timothys, and sorry for taking a while to cover the DLC. Uh, no real re- Actually, there's a real reason. Yeah, I just wasn't that interested. <laughs> but I finally picked up enough courage to check out the brand new spanking DLC for South America. But first, thank you to today's sponsor, Displate. I'm sure a lot of you are quite familiar with Displate already. Displate creates unique metal posters, and they were ever Ever so kind as to send me a few to display today. The cat is not a display. It's tool free and safe for your walls. All you have to do is stick the protective leaf on with the magnet and then requiring only one hand, you can stick this bad boy to your wall with no holes, no tools and no mess. And if you ever want to change your displays around, all you need to do is pull them off and use the exact same magnet. And with over 2 million artworks available in the display catalog, there's definitely bound to be something you you like in here. And if you have a tinkling interest in history like me, the Imperial War Museum has plenty of posters that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. And if you go ahead and use my link in the description or the pinned comment down below, you can grab yourself some exclusive disc plates with a discount where you get yourself one disc plate for 25% off or two plus disc plates for 35% off. Just make sure when you are checking out that you either click my link down below or use my code ISP. So I won't lie, I didn't even know this DLC was coming out this soon. I got a key a while back from Paradox, which thank you very much for sending me one, Paradox. And uh, I thought it was quite a while away. No, it turned out I just released the other day. And uh, let's just say I wasn't exactly rushing out of bed <laughs> to play it. Hey, all right, I'm sure if you're a South American American viewer, little Timothy down there in Argentina. Uh, this DLC might be for you, but personally for me, I, there's really not much. I don't want to play South America. Hey, but let's not start this video out so negatively, alright? This could be the rebirth of South America, at least half of it, because the other half didn't get a folk tree. This could be the DLC that makes people want to actually come to BR. Uh, but judging by the Steam reviews, I'm not 100% sure about that one. But either way, I guess we're going to BR today. Start! Oh, first thing I'm noticing is the Amazon is now completely cut up, but I'm assuming uh, yep, can't build there. We're gonna have to deforest this baby. And of course, the main feature for Brazil, we now have a focus tree. Ooh, and it actually looks like America no longer starts with their guarantees on nations down here. Instead, they just have a new spirit called the Monroe Doctrine, which I'm assuming is essentially the same thing, uh, just not in a official guarantee now. Okay, so my main goal for Brazil is to try and become an actual worthwhile party participant of World War II. And to do that, I want to get down to the United States of South America, which if you can't tell, is going to be a little bit of a wild ride. And our two little paths in the middle to do that and collectively get down there is with our heckingly wholesome democracy focus, or we go with the Alex Von Rambler special of monarchy. But yeah, I think I may go for the monarchist path, just even though this de democracy one does really entice me, I think people unfortunately love their hecking wholesome monarchy. Okay, just for a second then, I thought, the, I thought that was Tony Robinson. That is definitely not Tony Robinson. Welcome to Brazil though, baby, and it ain't looking too goddamn good, Getulio. Oh, uh, we also got some people running around called the Kangasu, and they are having one hell of a wild ride around our country apparently. Okay, so first things I did, because to get rid of these guys, we're gonna need a lot of command power, is I rushed one of the arms army focuses and got ourselves a military staff, which means we can go over here and get quick improvisation, which will give us way more command power off the starting block, because <gasps> I'm clever and I've played this game before. So I think they have actually added more resources to South America, which is really good. But if you remember my recent video on the northern part of South America, there's actually still not a single resource really up here other than oil. Uh, I understand they weren't really the focus of 
the, the DLC, but it would have been nice just, you know, <laughs> sprinkle some ink up here rather than oil. Okay, when it comes to who we support for the claim of the monarchy, I have no idea. Both the bonuses these guys give look pretty bad. Um, this one just gives a 2% speed bonus and daily support, and then an air accident chance plus 5%. Uh, whereas Pedro Henrique, he only, well, he gives us trade law cards, economy law cards. They're both terrible. I'm just going to go with Pedro because I don't want the air accident chance. And here we go. We can now just blitz through all of this stuff because we get so much command power pretty early on, and we shouldn't have to deal with these guys <laughs> blowing everything up. Oh, damn. New leader, and this guy is looking pretty fly. Oh, I love the fact we start with the radio, but we do not have any idea about electronic mechanical engineers. We've got the radio, just no idea what's in it. Okay, so I just rushed the 50% uh, party support for non aligned by banning all the other political parties without even taking an advisor, because I want to get it done as quickly as possible, and if that's going to cost me my stability, then so be it. There you go. Pedro has heeded the call and came back to BR, and we have him in control and he has his little buffs there and we're just gonna rush immediately and turn ourselves from a kingdom into an empire oh so kind of the reverse where you uh, actually play as portugal and reform the kingdom of the uh, united kingdom of brazil and portugal you can now do it from brazil as well by the looks of things i'm not too sure if they are gonna go about accepting this but we'll give it a shot yeah so they disagreed to our commonwealth proposal but they offered us essentially just a faction with a couple of benefits like a research group and i'm not entirely sure i want on that so i'm just gonna go ahead and say no uh, and then i get the option down here to demand their colonies or just demand total portuguese submission eve raw not really too interested in getting any of portugal but i'm gonna demand their full submission but they accepted that one there you go we now have them as a puppet and we have taken over all of their colonies i don't know why they were more willing to do that but not the other one uh i mean if it's actually that easy just to demand their subjugation considering you have two chances to do it in the focus tree there i guess this does kind of void out the um the ever doing the portuguese playing portugal and doing the united kingdom with them <laughs> what is the point if it's actually this easy but i could have just gone lucky watch out boys we're deploying the battle hose good news everybody found the focus that lets me chop down the amazon we're also getting ourselves a focus to attack uruguay so we are gonna use that one too i'm also sending the battle hose <laughs> to naval invade their capital <laughs> <laughs> and that's about all she wrote. Okay, we also get another focus to go and attack Bolivia. But I'm just, I'm not 100% about this one supply-wise. You know what? The battle hose haven't let me down yet. Also, being at war actually allows me to secure the border without needing the 60% war support needed to actually usually get it. So that is pretty handy in one way. Uh, which is great. It means we can go ahead and rush down to good neighbor policy already. Which is actually kind of funny considering I'm invading one of my neighbors right now. I will take your very delicious tungsten. Thank you very much. Uh, so we do have a few more things we could do down here, but most of it for now, I think we're just going to ignore until we can go ahead and do the Washington Accords because that will allow us to join the Allies later on. And instead, we can actually look at the rest of our focus tree. I mean, we do get a focus down here for no fascism in South America, but that is just, I, I don't want to fight up here <laughs> or over here i'll be real with you okay america has finally been declared on by the japanese and i have pretty much finished all of the uh industry tree over here and i gotta say it does make you very powerful you get plenty of resources and uh, loads of bonuses for building pretty late in the game so my industry for a pretty late game is gonna be looking very very good and we just have tons of resources to play with on top of that it is a brand new source of rubber for the game because they have have added focuses to add this which is so needed uh, no longer are you reliant on this <laughs> four provinces in the game okay us is in the allies and somehow that means i'm also going to weasel my way into the allies also um does mean we're going straight to war with everyone too that's fine though i'm sure uh no one's 
gonna come harass me in my colonies. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our easy way into the war, I have gone down the right side over here to create our own faction. That's right, we don't actually want to be directly in the Allies, but we are going to use our little staging point in Portugal, because we own them, to get into Europe. Uh, but we did also get dragged into the uh, Asian fear over here, and uh, just going to politely ignore that for now. So yeah, my plan is going to be focusing on Italy for the most part here, as I don't actually want to generate any world tech or at least uh, as little as I can, because we do need to turn back and try and do our United States of South America down here. If you can't tell, some of the boys didn't quite make it. Wait a second, Chile just joined the Allies, which technically means I should delete my faction and join their faction. And I can then go ahead and do the United States of South America already. Oh, and that has... Turned me blue. I'm now the South American Empire. And that means I can now propose integration with Chile into our South American Empire. I don't know how exactly this is going to work or if it is, but let's see. I can break these Italians on uh, Sardinia, but I did just naval invade them and I think the port is open. Nice. Oh, and Chile just, uh, just straight up accepted. So Chile is now gone. <laughs> there we go. Corsica and Sardinia have been secured. Now we're going to try and figure our way into to Italy mainland, which I think we can do because my secret weapon does so happen to be the tank. And uh, I just got myself a upgraded one. I was kind of hoping that there'd be a, something uh, a little bit more to uh, actually just straight up annexing them over here. I thought we might get some sort of greater integration, but no, we just have them as a occupied state, which isn't exactly the best. Oh, uh, shout out to the allies right now. Pretty good invasion of southern France, but also shout out to the Axis. What the hell, guys? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to do my part a bit quicker than I expected. Oh, uh, mind me just trying to save the <laughs> possible catastrophe about to unfold. Hey, I'm just absolutely rolling over over the Italians there, but it makes sense because Brazil number one, baby. I'm also glad as Brazil just liberated all of Italy in one fell swoop right there that the Allies completely, well, almost completely lost their entire footing in southern France. I'm also so happy to announce that my tanks are doing absolute numbers. Look, there's a number, 65. And there's another number, seven. Uh, while well, checking on the UK, I realize I just had two destroyers over here. I'm assuming those were Chile's and, uh, <laughs> She's been sitting there watching for a while. I know the real aim of the uh, challenge that we kind of set forth at the start here was to see whether or not I could be a useful member of the Allies. But at this point, I reckon I've just become the only useful member of the Allies. I liberated Italy. I liberated France, I liberated Belgium, and now I'm going to liberate the Germans from life. And this is why you never make fun of Brazil. Oh. And uh, there goes Prague. Someone decided to take that out. Yeah, and I gotta say, Brazil is just incredibly powerful now. Just look at some of these spirits you get that uh, that are just like fully upgraded in the end. It, it, it is insane in the membrane. On top of that, if you can't tell by the uh, 300 factories we're currently sitting on over there, you just become an industrial powerhouse over here. Uh, and I did play Super Late Game. I'm sure you could get this ball rolling way quicker than I did. I was kind of sitting on there doing everything, <laughs> a bit, you know, doing everything thoroughly because it's my first time playing. But yeah, they are incredibly super powerful. And there go the Axis. I can't really even take anything because I don't want to go ahead and uh, raise any like world tension or anything, which will definitely happen if I take stuff. Hey, but you know what? The thing I will do is I'm going to take the Bismarck. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I could take stuff, but there is a reason I don't want to raise any world tension and that is to stick in the Allies. So uh, goodbye, Peace Conference. Hope it turned out well. I didn't even take the Bismarck. It said I spent my points on releasing everyone. <laughs> I liberated everyone. God, this looks disgusting. Yeah, I mean, we're going to leave the allies after this anyway, but uh, it's just easier to keep us in there so we can just finish off Japan easier here. Oh, it looks like the allies are going straight on to war <laughs> with the communists too, which uh, good luck with that one, boys. I feel like we should have focused over here a bit first, So, Oh, I guess once again, a job has been left to Brazil. Knock, knock, Japan. Have you ever heard of our lord and savior, Brazil? Oh, it's safe to say if you didn't know what BR is, you did Definitely know what it is now, Japan. You know, I do have to say, it is pretty fun playing Brazil. I mean, it's uh, probably not worth the whole DLC, but I haven't tried the other nations out yet, and I think next up will probably 
might be Argentina. Obviously not in this video, but make sure you leave a like and subscribe to see that one. I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Or it's going to be really bad. Hey, but yeah, good news is once we are done with Japan, we've only got one thing left to do, and then this video is over, which is actually trying to get more people in the faction to annex them into our United States of Brazil. Oh, and it's looking possible we could just immediately create a faction with Argentina, and we're going to call it the Suckers Club. And then with a bit of diplomatic pressure on Paraguay, we can get them in two. Now, I think we... Yep, here we go. So we have the options to try and get them both in. I don't know if they'll accept, but let's find out. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get Venezuela or Peru because, yeah, they, they just hate us too much because how swag we are. Uh, and Colombia is just straight up democratic. They need none aligned and they wouldn't join anyway because they also hate us because of our swag. Yeah, it, it's not like we, <laughs> we even need anyone else in our lands right now because even with just the minimal amount of land we own we are just so damn powerful oh well i guess uh, argentina accepts pretty easy i'm not really sure on what the chances are of people accepting or not but um if, it, if it's really that easy <laughs> this is it's actually pretty good hey and paraguay accepted too i guess the drawback of doing this if it is actually just this easy and they just accept is that you do have to worry about the fact they're never going to be caught uh which it really is isn't too bad. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of compliance like I already have all over Chile right there by just putting your occupation all the way down and then putting spies in there to root out any partisans and uh, that should keep it down pretty easy. Uh, but you know what, just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and uh, root South America of just one little problem. Okay, Peru! Hands in the air. Oh, also, one of the best things Paradox has actually fixed, I, not even part of the DLC, is they, when you attach your air wings to your units now, they no longer forget what <laughs> missions they're on when they uh, move to an airport that's full. So there you go. You never have to re-click any of these icons ever again. And of course, they didn't stand a damn chance. And I could also go for Venezuela, but I don't know if you can tell by the front lines here. That doesn't look too fun to push through. Uh, plus, I kind of like these borders the way they are. I don't want to uh, move further into the north there. This this is the optimal Brazil, if you ask me. Oh, also, I didn't even bother to do it because it was just uh, kind of so out the way. Where is it? When you get this, the foreign advisors trait, you can actually take a whole bunch of advisors. And guess what? It gives you even more buffs to this. Oh, my Lord. Uh, yeah, it is... It is actually insane how much stuff is on this one spirit. But yeah, it, it is safe to say uh, Brazil is just disgustingly overpowered. And you know what? I like it. I actually did enjoy Brazil. Now, would I come back and play it a lot? Probably not. But maybe once in a while... It could be a fun little game. Yeah, of course, we haven't played the other nations yet, like Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna play those first before we have any damning uh, conclusions on the DLC. But so far, the Brazil one. It was okay. It was really good, actually. I kind of liked it. I think you could definitely uh, rush a few of the specified things and do a way earlier game. You didn't have to do it as late as I am, because it is 1948 right now. We didn't even destroy Germany until, like, the 47, and then Japan just now. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot in the DLC for these little nations down here. I'm going to have to pick apart what I show and what I can't show. And uh, either way, we've still got a few more videos to check out. And if you have any suggestions... Leave a comment down below and let me know, because I know a lot of people aren't too uh, up to about this DLC, and I'm one of them, I will say. But uh, yeah, that was a fun Brazil game, but was it worth it for the money? Probably not. In all honesty, no, no definitely not. But hey, we're going to do the rest, and then I'll give a full opinion once I've done those. But until the next time, little Timmy, uh, leave a like, hit subscribe. Do not come to Brazil. <laughs>